All right, folks. So I ended up hearing from dispatcher. His name is Tanner, by the way. You know, I did have Joey, and Joey went out on medical leave, and uh, I got reassigned to Tanner for the past couple of months. Maybe three months. Anyway, he called and told me he's got a load for me to pick up up here in uh, at our Oakley facility. in Catoosa, Oklahoma. But I've never, uh, I mean, I've been here once, but I came in from a different direction, so I'm <laughs> not sure. Uh, I think this is the way in right here. It says Port 33. Pretty sure this will get me to the right place. I can see the Oakley facility. It's right on the Arkansas River from the bridge as I came over few minutes ago so I'm supposed to be getting a load in the morning out of here that delivers somewhere in Arkansas tomorrow and that'll get me home like I mentioned I got a special request to get home by Thursday evening um, and they have showers here for us drivers you know and some kind of facilities I don't know I've never seen them but I'll be able to use my key fob that works the North Little Rock Oakley Yard to get into this facility. So I'll be able to get a shower and all of that. I really needed to get fuel. I, I would like to have gotten fuel on the way here. I'm down to a quarter of a tank. But I've only got about 20 minutes left on my clock at this point. So I didn't want to take a chance with the clock being so low anyway I'm just showing you this so you get an idea what our uh, Katusa facility is like I have not picked up a load here before I've only delivered I had a load of uh, I don't even remember what it was I delivered onto a barge, just one load, not one of those all day barge things. Um, so I dumped it into a barge and then it was raining, so I got out of there. Alright, so. I don't. Uh, I think we're actually supposed to go in down here. There's a, there's a sign back there, Oakley, trucking, looking for new drivers, owner operators. So it looks like there's a clean out area over there. All right, so port 33 is what this is called. I'm not going to drive all the way back back there, but I'm going to give you a peek. The Arkansas River is right there, There's, under that bridge. You might can see it down the river there. There's a bunch of barges parked on the other side. And the loading and unloading equipment probably down there. At least that's where I unloaded one. So, uh, So I'm going to, I can't get around to the parking lot on this side, as you can see. So I'm going to spin around here. There's the facility, the offices we have. That's where my uh, dispatcher works out of, actually, I think. And supposedly there's a shower in there. At least I think that's the building that has a shower. There's a trailer for sale if anybody needs a hopper bottom trailer. Alright, so uh, this is the parking area. I'm just going to spin around here, get parked, and uh, we'll check out. I'll 
try to show you some of the facilities. Assuming I can get in there. I think I can go in that door right there. Anyway, I'm just going to spin around here and park beside those empty trailers. All right, more later. Okay, guys, let me show you a quick view of the driver's lounge here at the Catoosa Terminal. You got a little break table, TV, microwave, coffee maker. Uh, this, there's a washer and dryer in here. And that is locked because it goes to the offices. You got some seating. And got a bathroom with a shower in here, which I just used. All right. So that's it. The Oakley Drivers Lounge here at Catoosa. Okay, folks, so it's Thursday morning, about 9 a.m. I'm still here at the Oakley Fertilizer Port 33 facility. Camped out here last night, and I actually, uh, I got my order assigned to me right about seven o'clock. Came over here to scale in, check in, and the order number was no good. So I had to wait, oh man, it was like an hour, almost an hour and a half for a dispatcher to get a new, um, good order number so he just called me with that and I'm trying to work my way around here to loading area 13 oh, okay let's see I'm not sure I think I gotta I gotta back up so yeah I was about to pass by my uh, loading station here you can see the sign there, load station 13. At least I think this is where I'm supposed to go. Getting a urea. I've never picked up here before. I don't see any loader people just yet, so uh, I'm just going to kind of get my trailer set up here in the middle for now. And then uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, folks, so I'm into loading position 13. The way it works is they've got loading position 12, 13, 14 loading out of this warehouse. You can see, you know, they got a hopper right there. So I'm expecting a front end loader to just dump into that hopper and then it conveyors up, drops through the chute right there. So um, you can see they got multiple products around here. I'm not sure which one I'm getting. So uh, anyway, just waiting on a loader at this point. All right, I'll show you some if I can. Okay guys, so my loader is uh, just fixing to dump the first bucket into the hopper. This urea is a pretty light product, so it's probably going to fill up the trailer, trailer pretty good. He wanted me to start in the front, so he had me back up. There goes the product. And we're gonna load the front and then he wants me to pull up and we'll load the back and then he said we'll probably have to finish up in the middle. So that's the way he wanted to do it. But there you go, some urea. There goes bucket number two. So this will go pretty fast. He's just, uh, you know, scooping it from right out of that warehouse up onto the conveyor. It shouldn't take too long. Just giving you a look around. There's the Arkansas River right there. See some barge. They got a little inlet right there. Got some barges. You can see that scooper down there. He's taking stuff off the barge and unloading it onto a, I think a truck, like a yard truck. So uh, 
first time I've been down on this end of the property. Got a bunch of scrap metal going on over there. So, uh, all right, more later. Thought this might be an interesting shot to see how it looks. Since we're loading in the front, I'll open up the back. See the front filling up pretty good. Probably gonna have me move here in a minute. But you can see, you know, it, it's settling out pretty good. Don't want it to get too high though. I won't be able to get my tarp over. All right. All right, everybody. So I'm loaded. My weight's checked out pretty good. I'll give you a look there. Uh, got a little harbor right there off the river where they got barges parked. I'll just give you a shot of this place. I think I've got to exit out of here to the left and then loop back around to the scale. One good thing about this facility, everything would have been great had my pickup number worked would have been a real quick easy load but the loading platforms back there are nice and flat on concrete so you should be able to get a good scale reading I wish all the places we get loaded were like that all right there was another truck coming in right behind me there so get out of his way so I didn't have to remove my bows out of the way for that. You know, that urea is a very light product. No reason to take the bows out. And the loader suggested I leave my tarp off since there's no chance of uh, rain here right now until I scale out. Then pull off the scale and, and re-tarp. So, stop here and make sure nothing's coming. I'll just give you a shot because I didn't film my entry into this place but they got an inbound and an outbound scale and then this lane to the right here is just for entry you know if you don't need to scale in so we're gonna hop on the outbound scale now I've got this little card here I've got to take in and uh, get my final paperwork And we'll pull forward up there somewhere and get the tarp put on. Okay, got the tarp on. Sent in my shipping information. Let's give you a look as we get out of here. I've got to call in the dispatcher just to double check the delivery address because my work order has a different address than the BOL. I want to make sure I'm going to the right place. So again, there's more unloading and loading straight ahead down there past the bridge. And to the left here as we turn, that's the Oakley office, terminal office, driver's lounge, shower, office personnel. That's where I parked last night. So now I know about that. I tried to go in to the main office door. I was gonna go in and try to try to meet my dispatcher because he works out of there. But uh, my key would not open the door. I guess it's only set up to open the rear door where the driver's lounge is, which I get. They don't want us drivers just mingling around up in there while they're busy on the phone, putting out fires, conducting business. Okay, so we've got just under four hours to get to my delivery location in Morrillton, Arkansas, which is should be just right off of I-40 there. About 
20 miles west of Conway, Arkansas. Just giving you a look at this. Okay, I'll try to show you some unload when I get there. All right, folks. So it's Thursday afternoon around 2 p.m. And I've arrived here at this, uh, I guess you'd call it a farm store here in Morrillton, Arkansas. Kind of hard to get in here. Just showing you around. I got a farmer over here who's getting a load of potash. Drove his little hopper right in here on his tractor. Said his farm's about four miles from here. <laughs> So I came in from down there, the town's over in that direction, the guy told me just to wait here till he gets done with that farmer and then I guess I'll be backing up over here somewhere to unload. Yeah, it's another hot one. Anyway, um, yeah, I know I can't open the door. To the trailer at least I, I don't think i can i'm expecting it's pretty full but let's try it oh yeah it's packed shut and i ain't gonna climb up there right now all right here he comes let's see what's gonna happen here all right guys let's try to get a shot of it from the back here Dumping it into there. So I just gradually raised the trailer up. Should all dump out pretty clean once we get it tilted up. Right now it's only about halfway up. Alright, that's how it works. 